In this lesson, we're going to evaluate polynomials in several variables. And we have in the past evaluated expressions by plugging in a given number for a variable. And in these problems, there will be more than one variable, and that's the only difference we'll see here. So there are two steps to what we'll do. We'll substitute the given value for each variable, and we'll then simplify using order of operations, or what we've called PEMDAS. So here's a little example. 2x to the third y plus xy squared plus 7x minus 3. We want to evaluate that for x equals negative 2 and for y equals 3. So what we'll do first is we will copy the expression over, substituting the negative 2 in place of the x and substituting the y, the 3 in place of the y. So now I have 2 times negative 2 to the third times 3 plus negative 2 times 3 squared plus 7 times negative 2 minus 3. Now let's do exponents first. So I see here that I have negative 2 to the third. Now remember, three negative signs make a negative answer, and 2 to the third is 8. So that will give us 2 times negative 8 times 3. And then we'll have... Uh, 3 squared here, and 3 squared would be 9. And then we've got the rest of the problem. Now let's go back and multiply each group of factors together. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, and negative 16 times 3 is negative 48. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. And then we have negative 3. And if we add these together left to right, we get negative 83. Now let's evaluate 2x squared y minus 5y plus 3 and x squared plus 3xy plus y squared for these given values. So first of all, I will copy this expression over, substituting 2 in place of the x and negative 3 in place of the y. So I'm going to get 2 times 2 squared times negative 3 minus 5 times negative 3 plus 3. Now let's go back and evaluate the exponents. So 2 squared is 4. So now I'll have 2 times 4 times negative 3. I went ahead and did the multiplication here. Negative 5 times negative 3 makes plus 15. Now let's do this multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. And then negative 24 plus 15 plus 3 adds up to negative 6. Now let's try this one. We'll substitute negative 5 in place of the x, and substitute 4 in place of the y. That will give us negative 5 squared plus 3 times negative 5 times 4. Uh, plus 4 squared. Negative 5 squared is going to be negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. 3 times negative 5 times 4 is going to be negative 15 times 4, which is negative 60. And 4 squared is 16. Now 25 minus 60 is negative 35, and negative 35 plus 16 is negative 19.